So every old country house in the Maritimes seems to have an old rhubarb patch, and this one was here when we moved in 12 years ago. I have a funny story about that at the end. So this year we wanted to move the rhubarb patch to a bed beside the greenhouse. It's a shadier spot where we used to grow kale, and the rhubarb will mind a little bit of shade. So spring and fall are usually the best time for transplanting, but rhubarb's so hardy it won't really mind this early summer transplant. It hasn't got too hot yet where we are. So the first thing you want to do is harvest up to half the plant stalks from each plant. Pull and twist the largest stalks and the ones that are closest to the ground. This will give you your final harvest for the year and it'll also make it easier just to dig up the plants. Uh, trim the leaves off for your compost pile and then get out your favorite rhubarb recipes. If it's a big patch, you'll have a lot of rhubarb. Rhubarb likes a lot of compost and organic matter. It's a heavy feeder, so prep your new bed really well. Uh, because it's a perennial vegetable, it's going to be in the same place for a long time, for years and years, and it's good to give it a really good start. I'm adding bags of composted manure to the existing soil. And before you dig up the plants, you want to dig the new holes so you can move them in right away. So give each plant a lot of room to grow, like two to three feet between all the holes. Rhubarb's a fast grower and it'll take up a lot of space. So I put a couple pinches of bone meal in the holes as well. It has a lot of phosphorus in it and that'll help support root growth. The roots are the part of the plant that get the most damaged by moving. So you wanna do everything you can to help the roots grow as soon as they are in their new home. So back at the rhubarb patch, move the straw mulch out of the way and pull any weeds and then cut into the soil with a shovel all the way around the plant, five or six cuts before you try and dig it up. So pull the plant up with the shovel underneath it and you'll see the rhubarb has thick orange roots and a large spongy crown that the leaves grow out of. You wanna keep as much soil on the roots as you can when you're pulling it out of the ground. It's great if the soil is wet after a rainy day or a really deep watering. If the patch hasn't been divided in a long time, you can actually cut the plants into several pieces with a shovel. When you're cutting around the plants to dig it up, just make a cut with the shovel straight through the middle and you'll end up with two plants. It can handle it, I promise. And if you don't have a place to move the rhubarb, you can renovate your rhubarb patch by just removing a third to a half of the plants and leaving the rest in the ground. You just want to fill the holes with compost and the remaining plants will do a lot better than they did before when they were crowded. You can pot up the plants you remove and give them away. We had some extra when we did this, so we planted some in the local community garden. And once the rhubarb's in its new home, you should water it well and put mulch back on. Rhubarb likes a lot of water, so make sure you make a point to water the plants during dry spells, especially this year. Uh, you don't want to harvest any more rhubarb this year. You want to leave the plants be and be a bit sparing next spring as well. Uh, don't take really very much at all. So you wanna make sure the plants have time to get established and then it'll be good for another decade in its new home. Oh yeah, and then when we moved here, uh, I looked out the window one day in our first spring here and there was a very old woman in our backyard. There wasn't a fence at the time. So I went outside to look and see who she was and she told me that Oscar Tracy, whose family had built and lived in our building until the 1980s, told her that she could always harvest rhubarb from his garden, even if it wasn't his garden anymore. So I said that was fine. I can't stand in the way of a deal like that. And I pulled some rhubarb for her to take home. So Connie was only around for a few more years after that, but I did make sure she had some rhubarb every spring.